81 raised to power sine square x plus 81 raised to power cos square x is equal to 30. What is the value of s? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of s from this given nice trigonometric equation 81 sine square x plus 81 cos square x is equal to 30. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. 81 sine square s can be written as 3 raised to power 4 raised to power sine square x plus 81 cos square s can be written as 3 raised to power 4 raised to power cos square x is equal to 30. Then remember this rule that a raised to the power m to the power of m is equal to a raised to the power n m. Then this become theory raised to the power four times sine square x. That is four sine square x plus theory raised to the power four times cos square x. That is t raised to the power 4 cos square x is equal to 30. Now, but remember this that sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Then cos square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x now let's replace this we have t raised to power 4 sine square x plus t raised to power 4 multiplied by 1 minus sine square x is equal to 30. Then this is 3 raised to the power 4 sine square x plus 3 raised to the power 4 times 1. 4 minus 4 times sine square x. 4 sine square x is equal to 30. Then Remember this rule that if you have a raised to power n minus m, this is equal to a raised to power n over a raised to power m. So we have theory raised to power 4 sine square x plus 3 over 4 divided by 3 raised to the power 4 sine square x is equal to 30. Then let 3 raised to the power 4 sine square x is equal to y. Then we have y plus 3 raised to the power 4 divided by y is equal to 30. Now let's multiply all through by y. In order to eliminate this, we have y multiplied by y plus 3 raised to the power 4 multiplied by y over y is equal to 30 multiplied by y. Then this one will cancel dx. y times y, this is y square plus 3 raised to the power 4, 81, is equal to 30 times y, 30y. Then this is y square minus 30y 
plus 81 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Then from this, the product, which is 81, is equal to minus 27 multiplied by minus 3. This will give you 81. Then let's see the sum. This is minus 30. It's equal to, we have minus 27 minus 3. This is equal to minus 30. Then let's substitute. We have y square minus 27y minus 3y plus 81 is equal to 0. Remember, we are using factorization method, and this is y bracket y minus 27 minus 3 bracket y minus 27 is equal to 0. Then y minus 27 is common. We have y minus 27 multiplied by y minus 3 is equal to 0. Then y minus 27 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to 27. Or y minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to 3. But 3 raised to the power 4 sine square s is equal to y. Then 3 raised to the power 4 sine square s is equal to 27. Or 3 raised to the power 4 sine square x is equal to 3 and from here we have 3 raised to the power 4 sine square x is equal to 27 is 3 raised to the power 3 then they have the same base 3 this is 4 sine square x is equal to 3 let's divide both sides by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 this one will cancel this sine square x is equal to 3 over 4 then let's take the square root of both sides square root of sine square x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 4 then this will cancel this sine x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 2 and from the second case this one three raised to the power four sine square s is equal to three. Then this is also three raised to the power one. We have three raised to the power four sine square s is equal to 3 raised to the power 1. They have the same base for sine square x is equal to 1. Let's divide both sides by 4. Divided by 4. Divided by 4. This one will cancel this. Now sine square s is equal to 1 over 4. Now let's take the square root of both sides. Square root of 
sine square s is equal to square root of plus or minus here yeah, 1 over 4. This one will cancel dx, then sine x is equal to plus or minus 1 over 2. Now we've gotten the value of sine s in the first case and second case. Now we want to solve for x. So let's draw our plane. Then for sine s is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. We have the x and y quadrant. This is x and y as is. Now let's draw our circle. So here is 1, 0, and here is minus 1, 0, then here is 0, and 1, and here is what? Here is 0, minus 1, then this is our y, and here is x axis. So, but the sine x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. That And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. This is also over 1. Then, let's draw our angle here. Here is hypotenuse 1. Here is angle 60. Then this is root 3 over 2. Now, here will be what? Pi over 3. Then from here to this place, let's draw another angle here. Here is 180 minus 60. This is 120 degree so remember degree so 120 degree and here is what 2 pi over 3 therefore the radiant above the plane is for sine x is equal to root 3 over 2 then S is equal to what? Here is pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant. Then S is, for this place, we have S is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant. The radian below the plane. Then from here, we have this. Here is 180 plus 60. So and 180 plus 60 is 240. 240 degree. So this is 4 pi over Theory. And also, let's draw another one here. Then from here, this is 360 minus 60. And here is 300 degree. Then here is 5 pi over 3. So then the radian below the plane, huh? sine s is equal to minus root 3 over 2 then s 
is equal to 4 pi over 3 that's below the plane 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant then and s is equal to here is 5 pi over 3 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant then when sign s is equal to plus or minus 2 we want to find the value of x so let's draw our we have x and y plane let's draw our circle here is one zero here is minus one zero here is zero one here is zero and minus one so let's draw our angle here we know that sine x is equal to opposite over hypotenuse this is also over one then we have the angle here is angle 30 opposite is what 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 and hypotenuse is 1 that here will be pi over 6 in radians then let's see here let's draw another one here the angle here will be what 180 minus 30 here will be what 150 degree then in radiant here will be what 5 pi over 6 this is above the plane the hex plane for sign x is equal to 1 over 2 that is radian above the plane will now be what s will be equal to what here is pi over 6 pi over 6 plus 2 pi constant then again s is equal to for this case for angle 150 we have 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi constant then for radian below the s plane that is when sine s is equal to minus 1 over 2 let's see from here let's draw another angle out here here will be 180 plus 30 this is 210 but in radiant here will be 7 pi over 6 then let's draw another angle out here from here to this place will be 360 minus 30 here will be 30 degree and in radiant here will be 11 pi over 6 so a radiant below the s plane are s is equal to 7 pi over 6 and s is equal to is 11 pi over 6 11 pi over 6 if you enjoy the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you